Okay, so let's take a look at our last section in uh, this chapter, chapter one, pretty big chapter. Um, what we're going to be taking a look at first off is the idea of an exponent and its notation. Uh, in mathematics, the exponent notation looks like this. We read this as a to the n power. Uh, the n is what we refer to as the exponent, although I know you students like to call it the power. Uh, a is what we call the base and working together what the exponent is telling us to do is how many times we multiply the base to itself so a to the n breaks down into a times a times a and we just keep multiplying a to itself n times so essentially what it does is it's repeated multiplication we, repeat, we repeatedly multiply a to itself the number of times n tells us. So looking at some really quick examples, when I have 4 to the third power, right, the base is 4 and the exponent is 3. So that exponent is telling me to multiply 4 to itself three, uh, 3 times. And just moving left to right, right, that's 16 times 4, giving us 64. And so that's pretty much how it works. So let's go take a look at some situations. Uh, kind of evaluate and practice using this idea of exponents with their base. Um, and the first one, uh, the 4 is sitting right on top of the 2. And so the 2 is working as the base and we literally read this as the opposite of 2 to the 4th power. So 2 to the 4th power would be 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 and then we're taking its opposite. Uh, when you multiply this together, we get 4 times 4, and the result is a negative 16. So the interplay between the exponent and the, and the base, it's whatever the exponent is sitting directly on top of, that serves as your base and needs to be repeatedly multiplied. So for number 2, very similar, but the negative 2 is in parentheses. So the 4 is sitting right on top of the parentheses. So that means that the number inside is working as the base. So this is truly the number negative 2 to the fourth power. So in execution, we basically multiply negative 2 to itself four times. And multiplying, right, that's a 4, and that's a 4, giving us a positive 16. So despite being very similar, the fact that the parentheses are there changes the way we read the problem, changes the dynamics between the exponent and the power, excuse me, the exponent and the base, and so we get very different answers, opposites as a matter of fact. Uh, and the next one, the 3, is sitting right on top of the parentheses again, so whatever is inside the parentheses is serving as the base. So we're being asked to take 3 quarters and raise it to the third power. So that would be 3 fourths times 3 fourths times 3 fourths. So we're multiplying it to itself three times. Uh, of course, as we learned to multiply fractions, we just do, uh, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. And I believe when you finish that off, we get 27 over 64 as the final answer. Four is very similar, but the three is on top of the three. So the only thing serving as the base is the three. So when we do this, we multiply 3 to itself 4 times, or excuse me, 3 times, and then leave the 4 in the denominator. And then, of course, 3 times 3 times 3 is 27. Very different answers based off of who's working as the base and who's working as the exponent. A uh, couple more times. Here, uh, the x plus 2 right, is in parentheses, and this power is on top of that. So when we work this out, the base is x plus 2, and we're being asked to multiply it to itself two times. So x plus 2 times x plus 2. Again, I'm going to leave that there. Uh, we'll visit this probably later on in our course, or definitely in a Math 120 class. But here we're just trying to get a feel for the relationship between the power and the base, and I think we've, we've done that enough. Uh, the next one, uh, we kind of have the same expression, but there's no parentheses. So this exponent 2 is sitting right on top of that 2. So there's your base. So x, and we're taking 2 and multiplying it to itself. Of course, we can simplify that one because we know that 2 times 2 is 4. So again, just the importance of the interplay between what the exponent is and what's serving as the base 
it's pretty much whatever it's sitting directly on top of. And so last problem, uh, the way we read this, this is 5 minus 4 squared. So that 2, the base, is going to be 4 because that exponent is sitting right on top of the 4. 5 minus 4 squared. You can almost hear that language. So we have 5 minus 4 times 4, which becomes 5 minus 16. And if you can perform that subtraction, fine. But as we learn, subtraction is the addition of an opposite. There's more negative stuff. How much more will 16 take away 5, giving us an answer of negative 11? So kind of rolling that back to some previous uh, work that we did. But again, the interplay between the exponent and the base. The exponent always sits right on top of the base. Make sure you're clear on what that base is because it clearly has a very different execution, if you would, if you misinterpret the base and the exponent. And so that pretty much covers that. And I think we're fully ready for uh, order of operation discussion. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Well done. Again, email me or hit me on Canvas if you have questions.